Now, even though I'm doing this TEDx talk, this is probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. This, and I remember filming my first YouTube video, because speaking to a camera was just so weird. And I think I was so conscious of the fact that people could see your flaws and people could see all the imperfections. And that's the thing that scared me about filming. Now, even though I would have loved to do this TEDx live, I'm actually a bit annoyed that I'm doing this virtually. And this is probably about my 10th take. And every single time I'm like cut, every single time I made a mistake, even if I blinked, anything that went wrong, I'm trying to make sure it cuts. But for this one, I'm trying to make sure it doesn't cut. Because even if I do mess up, I want people to see the real. And honestly speaking, I want people to connect with me because I'm a real person. I'm not a role model. And this is what this talk is all about. I don't want to be a role model. I don't want people to connect with who they think I am. Listen, I've got websites, I've got biographies, I have press releases, and I have many people that read it and they think, wow, I would love to connect with her. Do you want to connect to my biography or do you want to connect with me? And there's many people that I've read their biographies and read the things that they've done. And I think I'm drawn to what they do rather than who they are. And I think, honestly, one of the most dangerous things in society is to be drawn to people because of what they do. Because we're human beings. We're not human doings. You need to find a density in who you are and not what you do. Now, let me tell you a story. A story of how I went from the stage to the studio. Now, me being a public speaker, you would think I love speaking. And I do. Don't get me wrong. But honestly, speaking became one of my weirdest things that I pursued because for a long time I was trying to speak but also for a long time I wanted to go into music. Now everyone tried to limit me and tell me you can't do music and speaking because I had to be this perfect role model. I had to be this great speaker. I had to be the speaker that was traveling around the world and speaking with all these different clients and I had to fit a certain clientele which means I couldn't speak a certain way. I couldn't speak a certain manner. But let me just tell you bruv, I'm from ENDS and I'm going to tell you that it's so hard for the fact that I have to speak to certain clients and I can't speak slang. I grew up in ENDS. I grew up in a council home. I grew up in a single parent household. So I'm used to speaking around certain people in a certain manner. And then I was always conformed and told, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't speak like this, you shouldn't talk like this, you shouldn't. And I was always told of things that I can't do because why? I had to be a role model. And I started to realise there's no one out there that's going to be able to know the real me or connect to the real me if I'm always trying to fulfil a certain role or to fulfil a certain uh, title. And if I'm being honest, I wish that someone who... If I'm being honest, well, I wish when I was younger, someone just told me to be a great person rather than a great speaker. Because me first being a great person would help me be a great speaker. It helps me being authentic. So as I said, going from the stage to the studio is not just a journey of how I went from speaking into the rap scene. It's actually a journey of how I went from being Hayley Melinda to being Hales. Now, Hayley Melinda is my name, but honestly, if I'm speaking, whenever someone says Hayley Melinda, I hate it so much because I felt like it was the role model. You are the standard. You are, your name is who you are. And it's like my name became a brand rather than me. And everything I was doing that was associated to my name, I became so conscious of. So I wouldn't do certain things. I wouldn't post certain things on social media because I cared what people thought about my brand, not about me. And it limited me because I felt my brand was me being a role model. So when I released my song, this is me now coming out as a complete different artist, a complete different name. And I thought, do you know what? I'm actually happy I can just be myself. And in this music video and in my song, I'm speaking slang, I'm being open, I'm being the real me. And I feel I've been around the world and I've spoken with so many different clients and I've done, been doing public speaking for so long that there's even certain times when I've been in spheres where I can just be myself and I'm speaking in a certain manner or to conduct myself in a certain manner because I had to fill a role. And this is why I say I don't like role models because you are trying to fill a role. We are all trying to fill a role. And I think that's probably one of the most dangerous places you can be. I think the one thing I'm, I'm trying to push is let's make being real ideal. Let's make being real the ideal standard of life. Honestly speaking, there is no one that is perfect. You can listen to someone time and time again, and you can honestly say, they are a great speaker, they are a great rapper, they are a great actor. But most times, ten, nine times out of 10, they probably rehearsed it. They probably rehearsed what they've said, or probably rehearsed what they've released, because they want to make it seem perfect. And honestly, you can't rehearse life. We are all trying to learn. We are all trying to figure out what we're doing. If I'm being honest, I don't really know what I'm doing a lot of times in my life. And it's not that I'm not focused, or it's not because of the fact that I don't have vision, but because of the fact that I'm constantly understanding and learning that as human beings, we evolve. 
we evolve and being a role model, you're limited to that role, maybe for the rest of your life. If I told you that I'm a speaker, you're going to think probably for the rest of my life that I'm going to be a speaker. But if I tell you I'm Hayley and I do speak in, then you know that there's more to me. And I think the mistake that I made is I started saying I am with the things that I'm doing rather than just actually saying this is what I do. And I'm telling you right now, you can't find identity in what you do. You need to find identity in who you are. So I never introduced myself. My name's Hayley Melinda. I do public speaking. I do write and I also rap and I sing. I do all these things. And I'm so happy that 2020 was the year that I broke out of the box. That I told myself that you don't have to find identity in your titles. You don't have to find identity in the things you've accomplished. You just need to find identity in the things you do. Now the pandemic actually challenged me to look within myself and ask me, are you doing the things you love? Are you doing the things that make you you? I remember last year when it was in February and I got really burnt out and I had to take myself away and I took myself to the hotel and this is when the world was open and I took myself away and I slept and I sat down and I got in touch with myself and I had a phone call with my, my older brother that changed my life. And I remember literally picking up the phone and saying, hello, I'm so tired, I'm so burnt out. He said, why do you think you're burnt out? And I said, oh, there's so many things I'm doing. And I'm telling him all the inspirational things I'm doing, how I'm traveling around the world, I'm speaking. I'm launching fellowships, I'm launching different things. I've spoken with this client, I'm filming this podcast, and I was telling him all the inspirational things I'm doing. And he said to me, Hayley, when was the last thing you done something that nurtured your inner child? When did you do something that actually you pursued when you was a kid? He said, Hayley, you used to love art, you used to love singing, you used to love drawing, and you don't do any of those things anymore because you're busy. And I realized that to be a great role model, I needed to be busy. I hate the term booked and busy. Booked and busy is probably the thing that made me burn out. It made me so burnt out because I was trying to fill this great role model, but I wasn't being real with myself. I wasn't being real with who I truly am and the things that I love. So last year after that conversation, it challenged me. Hayley, what do you love? What are the things you actually like to do? What are the things that nourish your soul? Not the things that society tells you you should do, but the things that actually make you happy. And what makes me happy is music. So I saved up some money, and I allowed myself to nurture my inner child. From when I was young, I was singing. From when I was young, I was rapping. And soon I'm gonna give you a snippet of this music video. But I just had to come here and share my story on why music probably changed my life and why nurturing the inner child was probably one of the best things I've ever done because I had literally let go of being a role model and just focus on just being real. Let's make the ideal thing being real. And I honestly feel probably one of the things that I wish I knew growing up was that life is all about you being yourself. So when I'm in the studio, when I'm making music and when I'm being real with myself, that's probably the best place I'm in. I honestly sometimes hate doing speaking engagements. I sometimes hate doing uh, writing books and writing blogs. And it's not because of the fact that I can't do it or I'm not good at it, but because I'm always thinking, oh, I have to edit it like this and edit things like that. But that's not what life's about. Life is not about editing. Life's about capturing memories. The memories that are gonna change your life, the memories that are going to change you. And I'm so happy that I captured a memory that no one can ever take away from me. And that is nurturing my inner child. When I had that conversation with my older brother, him saying, Hayley, you stop doing the things you love to do. That's when everything changed for me. That's when it made me realize that I've literally tried to be doing everything that I can fulfill this role, but me not being real with myself. So I'm gonna show you a snippet of the music video that I just done and just released so you can see the things that I've been up to. Me gon' prosper, and I'll cover the bills, it won't cost ya Cause sometimes I eat Dixie, and sometimes I eat lobster If it's business, then holla, top score a DDA dropper Ay, ay, ooh la 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 Thanking the Lord and thanking the Father I think I should stop, I'm about to go harder Life's too short for the tear, bust joke Bust my round here, we bust straight laughter Yes, I'm a girl who can do both Wear tracksuits and heels for the business partners Last year is Melinda Gates Next year I'll try and shout the Obamas Sipping shouts to them starters Not working hard, working smarter Gotta come with that clean energy Get me pumped to where is my charger I roll me and move faster I'm not lying, ask me faster Now if there's one thing that I hope you got from this Is that I had fun I think you can just tell in the music video that I had fun. And honestly, I felt like I was fulfilled in that moment. And it's not to say that speaking doesn't fulfill me. It's not to say anything that I have done before hasn't fulfilled me. But I'm just so happy that that conversation with my brother reminded me to not be so caught up in being a role model, but to just be real with myself. 
when everyone's trying to tell me what I should do and everyone's trying to tell me what my limitations are. I think you being real will remind you of your possibilities. I feel being real is like you being in an ocean where you can just swim and swim to anywhere in the world because it's only with your in touch with yourself that you can truly pursue the things you love and become the people who you need to be. Now, I just want to round it off with this. I honestly feel that something that I wish I was told growing up was don't grow up too fast. I tried to grow up too fast because there was this pressure for me to be a particular way, a pressure for me to feel, to look like I had it all together. As I said, we are human beings and not human doings. We are human beings and not human lookings. I don't want to look happy, I want to be happy. I don't want to look wealthy, I want to be wealthy. I don't want to look healthy, I want to be healthy. And I just hope that with everything going on in the world, where 2020, this pandemic, has literally shifted our shifted dynamic of this world, I hope it makes us look within ourselves and not really care what people think. I honestly think probably one of the most dangerous things is the opinion of man. One of my favourite books comes and says the opinion of man is like a snare because I feel many of us are trapped by what other people think about us. We are always trying to do what other people say we should do. Why don't you just be you? And I guess I just want to end it with the fact that you are the blueprint. As I said, I went into making music and I've just shown my music video, but I had so many people that told me that I can't do music. Why? Because I had to fulfill the role of being a great speaker. But me doing music has actually helped me in my career like never before, because I'm now in a better place. I'm not burned out or I'm not overwhelmed because I'm working from the place that makes me happy. So I honestly feel that us being human beings is probably the most important thing you should be. We are all human beings, we're not human doings. So I hope I encourage you and I can encourage the world to make being real ideal.